How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Worden, and if you're new here, well, gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Plus, it seems as if that you are interested into getting into Lego. But with Lego, you probably don't know where to start. You don't know what sets to start with. Or find a place to build your first Lego set. With all those questions being asked, this right here will help you out with you starting your Lego hobby. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to start covering something that's a little bit, you know, uncomfortable. And I understand it, for some, it might be a bit of a sensitive subject. If you decide to sit through this part of the video and watch and it doesn't bother you, hey, great, thanks. If, if this does bother you, you don't really want to, like, sit through it and talk about it i get it i get it i understand post-production mike will be able to will make sure not will be able to will make sure to put a little timestamp to where to skip to so that you don't have to sit through this segment but what i'm going to start talking about is the financial part of lego and let me just say that how do i say this Lego is not cheap. And to me, yes and no, you kind of get the bang for your buck. Well, let me tell you why. So, for, you know, for some of you, and me, this is, you know, I can say for definite for sure, Lego isn't just my hobby. You know, I, of course, I have said I decided to take my hobby, which is Lego, you know, mainstream, obviously, with YouTube pictures and, you know, Instagram and, and TikTok and stuff. I, I, I understand that with any hobby regard, you know, with any hobby period, there has to be a money involved. You have to pay for things, pay for, you know, pay for the accessories so you can enjoy that hobby. And depending on what that hobby is, sometimes, you know, the money you put into it, you get a certain good amount of longe longevity in that product with some things you don't so like for for instance like i said lego is not just my hobby okay video games as you can tell with the controllers there i got twitch running in the back there i got my gaming pc on but you get the point i like oh zelda poster right there i got some video game characters right there okay you get the point i like to play video games and when you pay for like a, a first party controller, you know, or yeah, yeah, a first party controller, okay? So like for instance, this right here is a first party Xbox controller. And it's probably worth maybe about, maybe $60. And that's me just being nice on, on my guessing game. This right here, this is a first party PlayStation, I think four controller, okay? These controllers here, this is probably a cardinal sin with what I'm showing here all at the same time, uh, you know, Xbox and PlayStation. These controllers, this has been surviving with me for a very long time, but because this is a first party controller and it's been lasting with me for a very long time, but it's, like I said, it's expensive. It, this right here, you know, it's got some longevity to it. This is the PlayStation controller and it's been you know, it's been with me, it's been working just fine because I take care of it, plus it's a first party controller. Now, with Lego, of course you're paying for a first party product. And depending on the set that you get, you it's like I said before, it's like a yes and no, like you get the bang for your buck kind of thing, you know? And it's, it's, um, when you put your money into it and, it, and say you build it within, <clears throat> you know, two hours, then, you know, it, it's $40 gone like that. Or you pay, you know, $600 to $1,000 and say you get it built within five days, depending on how much, how hard you work on it. Well, there goes that six to $1,000, poof, gone, you know, and it's. I mean, did you really get the bang for your buck? I mean, yes, you you can kind of like, 
you know, stare at it, admire it, knowing that you put that together, or when, sh or when you show someone, <clears throat> you know, your Lego collection, they can be like, whoa, look at that set that you built. I mean, like, hey, hey thanks. You know, you, you can, you know, you can feel happy, you can feel proud of yourself that you did that set. And, you know, it's, 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 it's just a wave of emotions and, and it's a wave of decisions. And, and the thing is, is like, <clears throat> the cheaper that you're going to go, you're going to, you're, you're going to get something small. And cheap is still about $5 minimum. Six pushing it when it comes to cheap or under $10. And those are what are called poly bags, which I'll show you here in a little bit. And then, and then let's say like you want to build something iconic, like the Eiffel Tower, the Titanic, or or one of the like the Ultimate Collector Series sets, like the the At At or the Millennium Falcon, which is the Star Wars series. You know, you're you're talking you know big money and i understand that like some of you probably can't afford that and i understand and that's why i said you know this is kind of a sensitive subject is that you know finances is a thing that you have to buy these sets and depending on how long you want to take to build them and want to make sure you get your money's worth and and the time spent with them that's probably this is probably something to consider when when investigating when well, not investigating but investing that's the correct word in, into this hobby so i wanted to um you know get into that little minor kind of part of part of this video so okay now on to the next segment so i'm going to start talking about my building spaces from where i started to to where i am now now, when I very first did my first Lego build, which was the United States Capitol, which was a Lego architecture set, roughly about 2,000 pieces. Can't remember off the top of my head. But this right here is where I very first started my Lego hobby. I, I sat here, did my sets. Uh, you know, I took some pictures here and there. W wasn't totally into mainstreaming my hobby right off the bat. But this is where I very first started it. Yes, I know, you see a mouse and keyboard, and you see some pencils and some paper. It's, you know, the my used to be Lego building spot got, got taken over by my father, which pretty much works from home now. So, this was my starting point. The next spot that I moved to after from that office room, I moved out to here. Which, basically, I had, as you can tell, I have more room. Uh, don't mind the Christmas decorations, you know. Tis the season. And I had, like I said, a lot of room. This was great for when I was building, like, the, you know, the, the big monster sets that I have now. Like, the at, at I built the Titanic out here. Those are some, obviously, iconic sets that I built out here. But, obviously, all of this space that I had here to use became very useful for me. Obviously, I sat in the king's chair. And... As some of you know who have watched my streams, I this was my first little streaming spot and where I did some of my first videos out here. But this is where I moved to because, you know, it was nice, it was convenient, and I obviously had a lot of building room. Plus the stables made out of some really nice wood. Okay, so now we're talking, you know, my Lego hobby in the present tense. This is now where I pretty much have moved to me doing my Lego builds and also me filming my Lego work, you know, my Lego building videos, uh, the, you know, you know, some of my present Lego builds that I have right now, I've done them right here. Um, at first when I started doing video work, I, you know, started with putting up like a, like a big, huge, like, it was like a bed sheet or something. And then I eventually I kind of moved to having, you know, this wall being painted. I know I got some scratch right there at some point, I gotta fix it. I would put like a tablecloth on, like a black tablecloth so that, you know, I can, you know, work with the pieces, but I actually kind of learned, believe it or not, this is obviously like a table that you would have out like on a picnic, or if you would go play video games with some of your buddies, you would have like a link up night or something. This would be like that table to use. And obviously just the plain table itself is pretty good to work on. So that's something that I learned. Uh, something to hopefully it would help you out if like, you want a table to work on. This is a pretty good table to work on. 
I'm personally not a big fan of the crease in the middle. I'm maybe looking to maybe upgrade from this kind of table to something else, maybe from Ikea, not too sure. But yeah, this is where I am now. Uh, you know, obviously where I do some of my video work and some of the work that I look to be doing in the future. And uh, yeah. So I showed you from where I started doing my Lego build <clears throat> to where I am now. But the thing is though is, if you're looking to start this hobby, you're gonna be needing a set to start building. And if you don't know where to look, well, trust me, I got a perfect place for you to look. And that is, lego.com. And what you do when you are here, you go to shop, you go to sets by theme, and there you go. You have all your sets right here. Now, I gotta say, what really gets LEGO all the attention is that they have sets that you can find like a connection with, right? So for instance, Let's say that you are a big, you like cars, right? You like vehicles, right? You, you, you like cars, you like fast cars, you, you like cars. Okay. I don't know how much more I can emphasize on that, but you like cars, right? So there's this section here called Speed Champions. Now, the beautiful thing about Speed Champions is is that these sets, pricing's not bad. <clears throat> We're talking 20 of the cheapest to, let's see if I can find it. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. To 45 the most. $19 the cheapest, $45 the most. And the amount of pieces ain't that bad. 676 pieces. Now, First, for some of you that might be really, really new <clears throat> and you're just picking up a Lego brick, this may not be the starter set for you. You know, like a good poly bag would be a good starting point. But let's say like maybe you're, you know, <clears throat> you're on the same boat. You really haven't picked up a Lego brick yourself yet. But like you're pretty confident you can build something like this. <clears throat> this is an excellent start. The pieces, there's not that much. Pricing's not that bad. And you're building a car, you know, say you like this BMW M4 GT3 and BMW M Hybrid V8 race car, you know, you built your favorite car and you, and you didn't break your bank. On the plus side, you also have too many figures with it. So it's a win in both worlds if you care about the minifigures and the set that it is. Let's see. Now, we kind of had a look at Speed Champions. Uh, let's see, what, what else? Let's say. Uh, so, <clears throat> let's see, this Lego Dreams. Okay, this is, as you see, this is new, and I'm kind of new to it. I've seen some sets. Kind of have an idea what it is. But, I don't know. I'm probably learning just as much as you are when it comes to these, looking at the Dream sets. So, yet again, we have a cheap set. <clears throat> 434 pieces let me tell you not bad the cool thing about this is let's say like you just want to build this house but you don't care about these two excuse me that's fine you can just build this and say screw it with these two because it's easy and it's simple and yeah but let's say over time you want to build this and then some other time you want to build that well there you go take your time relax enjoy it and there you go. Let's see. 30 bucks. Not breaking the bank. 434 pieces. Not bad at all. Let's see. Now, let's say you go, Mike. I want to do something that I traditionally really well know. So, there's one theme that Lego has. Super strong. A super strong theme has been around forever since 
since the time that Lego almost went down in the dumps, which was way before my time, so... Yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up uh, on Netflix. There's a Netflix series called, like, uh, The Toys That Made Us or something like that. And they talk about it, and Lego was almost no more. Very scary for them. But, <clears throat> it, it was actually, this theme actually pretty much saved the Lego and actually helped them become more of, a, of what they are today is Star Wars. Star Wars, when it comes to the sets, in my opinion, they have it all. They got small sets. They got big sets. They got Star Wars Christmas sets. They have this most recent ventilator collection set. They have, let's see, this tiny little set. They have this set. I mean, they have it all, right? And like I said, if you're starting out and you want something small, this right here is a perfect starting point. 20 bucks, 108 pieces, super small. I'm going to dig into this a little bit, but an excellent source of collecting of these guys to make a Stormtrooper army. But I'll get into that a little bit more later on. And yeah, excellent start, excellent starting point. Let's see, what, what else does Star Wars has? Let's see. Oh, you like bus sets? Right here, this is what they call a bus set. It stands on this little pedestal right here, and then you kind of build the helmet. This is Captain Rex. Apparently, I heard some controversy about him and the Captain Rex minifigure that's coming up with some set in the future, and some people are very upset. I don't know. If, if you know more than me, you know, talk about it in the comments down below. But this right here. The Mandalorian N-1 Starfighter Microfighter. 88 pieces, so it's an excellent start. Comes in a box, not a poly bag. Comes with Baby Yoda, Grogu. Yeah, we, we all have his names for him, but you know who he is. We got Mr. Mandalorian himself. And uh, another box picture and someone enjoying the set. And, uh, yeah. So, let's see. Let's go back. What else do they have in Star Wars? Okay. So, basically, we kind of looked at Star Wars. Let's see. That's my theme. Let's see. Let's say you want to get into, uh, this is something I'm going to talk about here in a little, later in a little bit. Let's, let's talk, uh, the creator expert. Now there are some now there are sets in here that are what are called modular sets, which is this house here, this house here, which is out of stock, which is unfortunate. You get you got the boutique hotel, which is it's pricey, but there's another modular set. Um you got let's see. So what do they have on the next page? Oh they got Bunch of bunch of stuff that's out of stock, so. But th th there is some, you know. Say you care for modulars, you know. You want to start building modular sets. Well, this is another decent start. So, yeah, with this set. <laughs> so let's see. Put a shot. You're gonna be seeing me do, do this a lot, so get used to it. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, um. Let's say if, like, you're someone that wants to collect Funko Pops, right? Funko Pops are obviously are known to have, you know, cult favorites, cult classics of Funko Pops that are themed after characters within TV shows or movies, video games, of that kind of nature. Well, if you like collecting Funko Pops, but yet you will maybe want to maybe get yourself into Lego... <coughs> Funko Pops is a nice little adjacent to that. Did I say that right? Brick? No, no, no. Brickheads. I'm sorry. Brickheads are a nice little adjacent to Funko Pops. Because, for one, you got all kinds of themes that we would all know. You know, Disney, Sonic, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. And what's cool about them is... If you look at a Funko Pop, <clears throat> there's a little number 
on the box. And apparently that number means something, like how valuable it is or whatever. Now, I don't know if it's the same here, but see that number right there? Harry Potter, 207. Cho Chang. If I said that right, great. Let me know in the comments. If I butchered the name, then please still let me know in the comments if I got that wrong. Cho Chang, 208. Harry Potter, 207. To me, that kind of reminds me of like that number on the Funko Pop. And yeah, so if you're a big collector of Funko Pops and you want to get into Lego, <clears throat> this is an excellent direction to go in. Because to me, the system, I think it's just about the same. That's in my head. That's what I think. That's what I'm suggesting. Take it as you may. All right, what else? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Um, <laughs> no Lego ideas. Let's look at Lego ideas. Hmm. So they have a bunch of, you know, pricey sets, you know, the office. A lot of people like the office. For me personally, I never really watch watch the show. Maybe not my not not my type of humor, but some people right now are probably scolding me in the comments right now for for me saying, you know, how dare you not like the office? But we got Home Alone, a good Christmas classic movie set, the motorized lighthouse. So if you want to start building a Lego C with a lighthouse next to it, perfect start. You want a panel to play? There you have it. You want a treehouse to play in? There you have it. But of course, these are on the pricier side, so be aware of that. You like jazz music? There you have it. You want a globe? Perfect. But as you see here, Lego has themes that you can probably find an interest in fairly quickly. Now, <clears throat> are there other <clears throat> toy building brands out there? Yes. Are there themes noticeable or anything? Well, no. Actually, yes. But with some, no. Like, Mega Constructs, they got Pokemon. Uh, they also have Halo. And... Yeah, that's just about it. That's the only two that I can think of. There's another one called... If I can just look it up here real quick. JM Bricklayer. JM Bricklayer Building Toy Shop. I remember seeing some of their sets from a Lego Instagrammer. He was showing off some of these sets. Showing off some of these sets. <clears throat> these sets are not well known, but some of them are, you know, are pretty neat looking. But they're not, like, well-known, like Spider-Man or Star Wars or anything like that. So they have a bunch of neat sets and stuff like that. Of course, I'm not sponsored or anything. But if, you know, let's say, like, you're on a budget or something, this is, like, an excellent starting point, maybe. Or maybe go and make a Constructs, you know. But, of course, LEGO also does have... You know, some, some sets that are also for someone on a budget, too. Like I just showed. 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 45 dollars to 100, 300, 400. So, you have a wide range of sets and whatnot. But, I mean, that this dragon's neat. Um, but I think you guys get the gist of it. But that pretty much sums up my... Uh, little shopping spree with you and, and helping you, you know, you know, pick another set for you to start with and you starting your Lego hobby. So that pretty much sums up, you know, with me in a way, helping you start your Lego hobby. Now, I personally would like to say, based on, on what I've seen, with everything that I just like, <clears throat> you know, shared with you and and showed you and like where 
you know, where you can start. That for me kind of like hopes that like that helps you out with like jogging your brain a little bit with where you can start with this Lego hobby. But let's say time goes on and you know, you built, you know, your hundredth set following the instructions and you're like, okay, I, I'm a little disinterested in, in, in building, you know, the, the, the sets that come in the box. And, you know, maybe you want to build something of your own. But yet again, let's say, like, you struggle in that department, right? So, for instance, Lego.com, where I was just at, there, there's a part of that website. I'm not going to get into it. I just showed you, you know, the basics of you shopping there. There's a part where you can pick pieces, you know, for you to design your own Lego build, which in the Lego world, they call it a mock, which stands for my own creation. So you want to buy some pieces to build your own thing. You can buy your own pieces there. Or let's say, you know, you're really struggling to figure out something different. And, you know, you don't know what kind of pieces you need. A good start for that is this right here. Something like this. This, th These kind of sets right here, the Creator 3-in-1 sets, they kind of come with, like, a wider range of, of parts. They come with what's called system bricks, which is, like, your, your you know, your basic bricks, stud plates, stuff like that. They also come with Technic parts, which is like, let's see if I can see a Technic part on here. Uh, no, not really. So, no. Uh, Technic parts, which, you know, you want an idea, buy a small Technic set and you'll see what, what, what Technic looks like. They're basically, like, hold on. I'll get you a Technic part. Give me one second. So this right here is, you know, what they call it, like a system brick. This right here is Technic, right? And then this right here is like Technic and system bricks had a baby because it's basically the, the, the same concept. You, you got the Technic holes and then, and, the, and then the brick itself. And then you also have like little Technic connectors and pins and stuff so yet again these sets right here depending on what you get you might get just maybe like simple parts or like you might get a mixture of system oop, you might get a, a mixture of system and technic parts and let's say you want to maybe build something out of your own imagination for something like this it's an excellent start and also, when you start shopping, let's just say exclusively at the Lego store, and you, let's say, it's kind of funny, but you start spending a certain amount of money, they'll give you a GWP, which stands for gift with purchase. And so like, just last, just a couple weeks ago, I was just out in New York City, I bought a set out there, and they gave me these two. They got me, they gave me this little horse, you know, trolley set with too many figures in it. And they gave me these Christmas ornaments, which I got to start building this one year soon so I can put it on our, on our family tree. And so that's pretty neat, but it's it, to a cost to you in a way. But yeah, you kind of get like a little extra gift and Lego is like, here you go. Thanks for giving us money. So here's a little something extra for you. You know, and I thought that was pretty funny. You know, I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, it's nice and funny all at the same time. But I think you know what I mean. Now, <clears throat> yet again, the, with what I'm telling you and, and sharing with you, is to help jog your your memory. Is there a right or wrong way <clears throat> of starting out in Lego? No. If you're new and you want to get a big set, then by all means, go for it. Get a big set. If you want to start small and easy and simple, hey, excellent start. And <clears throat> let me tell you something. I know, like I said in that little shopping segment, 
there are people out there <clears throat> that go crazy and go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs when they're shopping for modular sets. When they hear about a new modular set, they're there. I mean, when it comes to modular sets, they need that modular set for their Lego city. They go crazy for them. And then they go crazy for like Lego roads. It's just, that's probably a whole new video that I'm just not gonna get into, but I think, you know what I mean? Like, I'm obviously not a person to look to when it comes to Lego cities. Like, trust me, just type up Lego city collectors and trust me, you'll find them. But I am definitely not the person to look to for that. <laughs> um, uh, there are people out there, like I showed you with that one Star Wars set, that, that, that 332 second battle drone or something, I, I don't know. There are people out there that only collect <clears throat> those sets for the little minifigures, for the little stormtroopers, to make what's called a, a stormtrooper army. I kid you not. You think I'm crazy? I mean, you think I'm kidding? No. They only buy those certain sets just for the Stormtrooper minifigures. And they have a whole army on a on a gray base, on a gray stud plate in line. And they call it, this is my army. Collecting them. I don't know. It, 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 it makes them happy. It's, it's what they enjoy. Like I said, in this hobby, do what you enjoy. I'm just trying to just help you start, help jog your brain and the ideas that you want to start with. And yeah. Now, since that's over, done and over with, here's what's going to be coming up on my channel after this video. Is stop motion. I've been wanting to get into stop motion. I've had an interest in it since I was, I think it was streaming me building the at at and of course i just asked and i'm like i don't know what to do you know for content you know i i want to try something out and someone said well stop motion's a thing and i'm like well okay so i looked into it and apparently it's thank god it's still a thing from this video on moving forward from you know with me moving forward on my youtube channel i'm looking into doing stop motion I bought all the apps. I bought parts like these to help me, you know, rig up my characters and stuff like that to make them do cool tricks and stuff. That's what I'm going to be looking into. And I look forward to doing it. I already done a little bit here and there and it's a lot of fun. I got some ideas stored up that, you know, I want to try and look into. And, you know, I'm interested in doing some character development and, and character creation with my stop motion with the lego pieces that i have and uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this helped and uh with that i'm out of here so see ya before i leave i almost forgot to show you guys something see this these are what they call poly bags super small super simple like this set right here it's got 44 pieces in it and it's Lego Dreams. And like I said, this is an excellent start. You know, small, not expensive. I think it was like six or five, five or six bucks or something like that. But I almost forgot to show that to you guys. And here I am showing it. So, ta -da. And yeah. So, with that being said, now I'm really out of here. So, see ya. Oh, and about to stop motion. I almost forgot. With stop motion, I know I have a wider range of things, and I also might do some stop motion building videos too. So yeah, I think you guys get the idea. So now I'm really out of here. So see ya!